Welcome to this tutorial oil painting study of a green forest in strong sunlight. Now I'm working from a photograph I took some time ago in the new forest, and I really like the dappled sunlight effect in the foreground. I feel it adds an interest and depth to the composition. Now you might feel that this is a really hard to paint subject. In fact, it's quite easy and straightforward so long as you follow this simple method of painting that I'm going to show you. We can get complicated with this painting later, but for now, all we need to do is to keep it really simple and just focus on the correct proportion, line, and mass. That's it. To do this, we're going to start with an imprimatura, tonal study. This is an early Renaissance painting technique used by traditional historic masters such as Leonardo da Vinci, Rembrandt, and Caravaggio, to name just a few. An imprimatura is simply a transparent stain we apply to the canvas. This is not the painting, it is the underpainting. So you're not painting leaves. You're solely focused on painting the tonal values and shapes and putting those in the right place. Remember the phrase, proportion, line, and mass. Notice how I put this tree in. I'm not at all concerned with value at this stage. I'm only concerned with proportion, getting the tree in the right location. My second priority is simply getting the shape correct. The image is really beginning to take shape. What I want to do now is to complicate these light and dark areas into smaller and more complex shapes. When doing this, you might find it helpful if you squint. When you do this, it simplifies the image for you into fewer values of tone. It just might help you. Take a step back and have a look at the painting as a whole. And it's quite impressive how it looks like a forest already at this stage. All we've done, remember, is mapped out the scene. Deciding where the big trees are going, that's all we've done. But the benefits are huge. We now know exactly where to put the paint, in exactly the right place. It's going to make the painting process much easier to do. I can't begin to explain how this simplifies the entire painting process. And that's why the Imprimentura underpainting technique is one of my absolute favourites to start a painting like this with. 